Morning guys. So in this video, we're gonna take you through two full days of eating and we wanted to show you two for variety. On some days like today, which is Sunday, we have a lot of social plans and we're generally out and about. So we'll be a lot more flexible with what we eat and we just kind of go with the flow. And then there's the weekdays like tomorrow in which we go through our usual routine and we're mostly cooking at home and generally have a lot more control over what we eat. We have a pretty busy day ahead of us, so let's get started. But before that, we always start our day with a big glass of water. All right, so it's about 11.30 at the moment. We had a bit of a late night last night, but we also finished eating pretty early. So we're currently about 15 hours fasted. So what we're gonna do, because we have to get out of the door really quick, we're gonna make some black coffee, some eggs, and some sausages that we haven't had in the fridge. <laughs> okay, so we are in a rush today because we are going to volunteer at More Good, which is a local organization that provides meals for those in need. We started doing this twice a month since it's actually run by a friend and we thought it's a good thing to do and it's just nice to support our friend. So we'll show you what we get up to. Lunchtime. So we just finished up. We're gonna have some lunch now, which we can actually let's have this. Oh, the food's already out. Oh, here. We have here. We have a small little thing. That was small. Oh, dude. Beans and beef. Let's go. And I think it's rice. Yeah. Rice. Nice, dude. Alright, stay in. We need a shot of you handing over the XO sauce. Like, can it do like this, like one hand? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
It's so good. So good. Yeah. So she was asking some really niche terms, like he was like, I'm gonna the food on the table. Let me zoom in on that. The joke is, it's not a meal until Emily has spilled something on the table. Well, now you also spill stuff on the table. Yeah, it's true. I, I, I spill stuff more. I've caught whatever it is she has. <laughs> No. Yeah. They have momo food with pie. Cereal gelato with momo food with pie. I'm getting that. I was gonna get. I was gonna get one scoop. But I think I'm gonna get two. What ice cream will you be getting? Probably the same as always. Which one is that? Macadamia crunch. Macadamia crunch. Are we going outside? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I am like very happy with this. Can I try? Yeah. Oh, so good. Oh, this is the. Uh, oh, mm. How good is that? Mm. I've not cracked by in ages. How are we enjoying our ice cream? <clears throat> okay, so we finished up ice cream. We're not used to having that much sugar anymore, so we definitely both had a bit of a sugar crash yeah. afterwards. Uh, we headed home for a bit just to drop off our stuff, and now we're headed up the mid levels escalators to grab dinner with some friends. Leftover steak in hand. All right, just got home. It's been a long day of eating. I actually couldn't finish my steak at dinner, so I brought it back to make something for lunch with tomorrow. And I'm finishing the night off with a glass of Athletic Greens. So this is the only green drink that we both like because it has probiotics and it has a lot of good stuff in it. So generally speaking, if I don't have a lot of vegetables at dinner or just throughout the day, I like to finish off with it just to feel good about myself. So on the weekends, we usually have more social plans, which means our eating is a little bit more random, but given that tomorrow's Monday and it's the start of the week, it's usually a bit more structured, which I'm honestly kind of looking forward to after a day like today. I'm going to go for some tea instead. And one of our favorites lately has been green rooibos, which is great for the evening because it's caffeine free. So I'm going to make myself a cup of this and call it a night. So it's Monday morning now, and Lloyd and I are getting our day started with some water and coffee. We don't eat breakfast because we both practice intermittent fasting, and to be honest, we've never really had much of an appetite in the mornings anyway, so we've been doing this for several years and it suited us pretty naturally. We were originally planning to go to the gym this morning, but we changed our minds and decided we're going to do some work, make lunch, and then go work out in the afternoon. So I'm going to get to work and I'll catch you guys when it's time for lunch. So it's time to make lunch now. We're going to make a little stir fry. We actually made a video on this before where we just kind of take things from our fridge and see what we have and throw it all together for a quick and simple meal. We have some grass-fed beef tallow that we saved from the last time we cooked a brisket in the oven. Oh, you'll just start there. 
You can do it. This girl was real. I don't know why the cabinets in our kitchen are so tall. <laughs> Chocolate covered almonds with lilies. So we're back from the gym and we did some grocery shopping while we were out because we both are craving Chinese food. So tonight I'm gonna make some rice and a couple of dishes in the wok. So one of them will be tomato and egg, which is a classic that I grew up with. And the other will be a stir fry with these hot pot slices that we still have in our freezer from our butcher friend, which we'll do with our homemade Sichuan hot pot base, which I'm really looking forward to. You hungry? Yes, very. Awesome, all right, I'm gonna get started with the prep. skin start to split up like that, that's how you know it's good. Mm. Yeah. And then it just peels off after it like cools off a little bit. See the skin comes off. It's not actually boiling the fruit inside. Mm. first started learning how to chop stuff, I saw that Gordon Ramsay had this tutorial of like the three fingers, you know, using that to guide the knife. Three fingers, one in front, two behind. And this part of the knuckle is gonna guide the knife. I was so slow, so I had to like do it. I was like cutting it as slowly as possible. And then eventually just got to a point where I think after maybe cooking for several months, it just felt very intuitive. I've never gone back. So if you ever see a tutorial from someone who knows what they're talking about and it doesn't seem intuitive at first, stick with it for a bit. This might seem like a comical number of eggs. I'm actually adding two more, but we are planning to have some leftovers in the fridge for the next couple days. So that's, uh, you'll see. It kind of it shrinks in the pan too, it feels like. You know, like it doesn't seem like it's 10 eggs, but it's, uh, it's 10 eggs. <laughs> so there you go. Prep's all done. Uh, rice has about 10 more minutes left to go. So we're gonna start getting things on the walk and stir frying and we'll be ready for dinner very soon. Oh yeah, if it doesn't make sense why we always do that and then discard the oil, you're kind of seasoning the pan or the wok every time you're using it, which just helps to make things not stick. So you always put a layer of oil in while it's ripping hot, wait for that to start smoking, move it around a little bit, and then you kind of discard that oil because it's a bit burned, and then you add fresh oil, and then you add all your ingredients and then it doesn't stick to the wok, which is super nice.
secret weapon, hot pot base. This thing has like 20 spices in it and it's made entirely with grass-fed beef and lamb tallow. It is the best. Oh, okay, so one thing about eggs. So I used to mess up this dish a lot because I didn't realize that in Asian cooking, it's customary to make the eggs cook on really high heat to make them puffy and actually have a different texture, kind of like a pillowy texture. Whereas, you know, I learned how to cook eggs, again, from Gordon Ramsay on YouTube, and I did the French way. And a lot of Chinese and other Asian recipes kind of call for very high heat egg cooking. So just in case you're trying to make an Asian recipe and it doesn't really work out, that might be why, just FYI. So, fun fact, I like to load my bowl with everything, if this will focus. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, so, I like to load my bowl with everything and mix everything together, whereas Lloyd does not like that. I do not like that. It ended up being three dishes because when I was doing the vegetables, they kind of looked good on their own, so he thought, why not just keep it that way? Beef and onion is kind of a slap and combo. I thought this was really good this time. Can I egg? Yeah. It's perfect, yeah. All done with dinner. Mm -hmm. With leftovers for tomorrow to spare as well. I am pooped. It's, uh, we didn't actually start cooking that late, but whenever we're filming, it always takes a hell of a lot longer. So if you did enjoy the video and enjoy the cooking portion, make sure to leave a like as always. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much done eating for the day. Are you having anything else? Or? Nah, I bought some grapes earlier, but I don't think I'm gonna have them. Yeah, no, I'm pretty full from that dinner. As always, let us know in the comments if you wanna see more of this type of content, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. I think that's it. Yeah, okay.